Not wanting to get knocked out is usually a good motivator. No, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I, I will add there, though, it, it, does, it does sit there in your mind. Right? In that second fight with Izzy, I fought much, with much more hesitance and caution yeah. than I normally do because yeah. of it sitting in the... Like, you know, he, he has the ability to land one on you and it can, it can put you away. Was so it, you, and was it the worried about the striking or worried about the, def, the loss? Or a bit of both. Oh, uh, it's. What do you mean? Like the fact that you had lost the champ, uh, like lost to him already, or was it the fact that you were worried about his striking? Due it was. Anything? It was. It was definitely the striking because I didn't want to. I didn't want to go in and repeat yeah. what happened in the first mm. fight. So, yep. it's. I went in with much more caution, mm. you know. But that is also one of my biggest strengths is the fact that I can get in there mm. yep. with 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 some sort of reckless abandon. Were you gun shy in that second fight? Um. To some degree, yeah. you know, there was, you can see, you can see in that second Izzy fight, opposed to all my other fights that, that surround it, that I was much more cautious and, and, and hesitant to truly engage mm. with what I could have. So does that mean you abandoned the game plan? I mean, if you were overly cautious and was the, was the game plan for you not to be as cautious? Um, I didn't abandon the game plan. The game plan was obviously to not be reckless, okay. to not just dive in and, and, and have a repeat of what happened in the first one. But I think not, just not to the degree of what I did yeah. because obviously I was in there and, uh, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is sort of thing. Mm.